Good afternoon everyone, it's Steve KI5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good day today and a good 4th of July weekend. So today, I what we're going to do is I'm going to make a video on showing you how to get on the air with single sideband and I'm also going to show you how to set up the mic gain, uh, the speech processor uh, compression level and we're also going to go through and practice something new uh, the parametric equalizer. So we're going to try to kind of go through this at a, at a fairly moderate pace, but uh, the fundamentals here are sitting down in front of the radio and getting on the air and taking advantage of the features of the radio, which are the speech processor and the parametric equalizer. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and make sure we're in, we're in quick memory bank mode right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to VFO mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this on sideband, 10 meter. We're at upper sideband, and our frequency is we'll go uh, 0, 2, 8, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. And we're going to press enter. All right, now we're still in VFO, so the first thing we'll do is I am transmitting into a dummy load. So we're not transmitting on the air, so all the transmissions you'll hear will be just, you know, they're, they're not going on the air. And that's usually the recommended pr pr uh, process for setting up your uh, speech, speech uh, uh, mic gain and your, your compression levels and so forth. So what we'll do first is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to touch the meter button. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, what we want to do is we want to select ALC which is automatic limiting control and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transmit in the radio we want to make sure that we're only going at about half to fifty percent of scale so what I'll do first is now on my microphone here uh, I've got this little Diesel right here, and this actually is supposed to be used for sideband. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and transmit in. And what I need to do is I need to go to function, and then I need to go to mic, uh, and that's processor, mic gain, right there. So when I press mic gain, you'll see it populate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak into the microphone, and it should go to almost about half scale. And I have box on also, so that's previously from another video. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. No adjustments made. But if I needed to adjustment, I would just press the mic gain and turn it up or down, and then do the same test again. We'll turn it down just a hair. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, CQ 10 meter. Perfect. Now the next step we'll do is we'll set the compression level. So to do that, we're going to press the meter button again and we're going to toggle till we come to compression. Now we have to go over here. We have to locate. Uh, we want to make sure two things are happening. The first thing that's happening is we want to make sure that the speech processor is turned on because the speech processor directly works with the compressor settings. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the processor. Now I'm going to turn it up and I want you to watch what happens on the meter. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. Now we're not near between 5 to 10 dB like we need to be. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn it down and I'm going to turn the box off. That way we push down on the microphone. Uh, let's see, processor is, we'll turn it down to 25. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter. I'm about two inches from the microphone. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. That's a little bit better right there. Remember the speech processor, what this is doing is this is taking your power your, of your voice peaks and the, uh, 
in the uh, modulated um, spectrum and what this is doing is this is averaging that those voice peaks so you actually get more uh, punch power if you will so the next thing we'll do we've got the processor set the microphone equalizer set now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to the uh, let me go back one step here just to make sure yeah the speech processor is turned on which is what we want the micro microphone equalizer has been set, which we did that with the ALC. And I'm going to clear this processor setting. I'm going to press MCH. Okay, now what we're going to do is, since the processor is turned on, you see PROC. Now if it was off, this is what it would look like. But we're going to leave it on. And I'm going to clear that again. Now I'm going to take you to the parametric equalizer. Now this setting, the parametric equalizer is essentially uh, three different sets of equalizer settings, uh, frequency, dB, and bandwidth. Now what we're going to do today is Yesu actually puts an example in the, um, in the manual for that they can recommend that they use. So again, just to review real quickly, we have the speech processor turned on. And we also have to, let's make sure the parametric equalizer, we do have to verify it is turned on here, so I kind of got out of step here. Mic equalizer. There it is right there, that's the setting. Now if the mic equalizer was turned off, you would see it there. But for this for this sideband, we have the processor turned on and configured, and we also have the microphone equalizer turned on. So those are important. You have to have those on. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to press Menu Setup, and we're going to take you to those exact parametric settings. Now, one thing that's important is about this is in the in the settings on the equalizer. There are actually two banks of settings that we have. Now I'll show you, uh, we're going to go down to 128. Now, there's two sets of settings. One of them is 119. Now what you notice here is you see parametric equalizer only. Primtech. Those are the nine settings. Now we would use, now what's different here is we have a P in front of the uh, description. The P stands for parametric equalizer and the P represents with the speech processor on. So those are the settings we're going to use. So the first setting we're going to start with is 28. Now what I'm going to do is the default is 200 but I'm going to change that to one of the settings in the manual and we're going to change that to 100. Now when it reads there at 100 I'm going to press enter now we're going to go to the next one, which is 129. We're going to set this one to 10. The next one we're going to go to is 130. We're going to set this one to 3. The next one we're going to go to is 131. And we're going to set this one to 800. That's actually the default. So we'll leave it alone. Remember, all the defaults are always going to be blue and any special settings are, are indicated with a different color. This way you know, you know what you changed and so forth. Now 132, we're going to change that to 3. 134, we're going to change this one to, I'm um, sorry, 130, 133 is the one we just did. Yeah, let me verify this here. 132 is going to be 3. Yeah, and 133 is going to also be 3. One thirty four is going to be 2100 which is correct. 135 is going to be 8.
136 is going to be 1. And that's the default. So let's go back and double check all these. Yeah, that's going to stay at 1. So let's go back and double check them all. Starting at 128. We have 100. Uh, 129. Oops, we're going the wrong way. 129 is 10. 130 is 3. 131 is 800. 132 is also 3. 133 is also 3. And the next one is 2100. 134. 135 is 8. And 136 is 1. So we're good. Everything's set. Now what we'll do is we'll hit back. We'll go back and look again. And everything, all of our settings are in place. So this is one of the examples they use, and with those parametric settings that we just went through, what you'll experience is, is what they say in the manual, a very uh, sharp, uh, crisp, uh, very high treble voice, uh, because on single sideband you don't want a lot of bass. You don't want the lower frequencies. Um, you want it to be sharp and crisp. And what I'll do here, let's go to monitor and I don't know how well this is going to sound. I've ha I haven't had much luck with monitor. Yeah, it's got, I got way too much feedback. This is. I think it's because I've got. Let's turn this down. Kilo India five. We got it now. We got it there a little bit. Kilo India five. Juliet uniform box truck calling CQ ten meter and listening for a contact. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, clink CQ 10 meter. Alright, so that's what that parametric equalizer sounds like, and if you notice, it's very uh, sharp and crisp, and uh, there's a little bit of echo, and that's only because I've got this, the, uh, the uh, system so close together, and, or at least the microphone and the speaker, but uh, that's what the parametric equalizer will sound like. So what I recommend is go ahead and do this on your radio, and I'll post all the information, set your, um, your microphone gain, your processor compression level, uh, go in and also uh, turn on the speech processor, and turn on the microphone gain, and then go through and adjust those nine specific parametric equalizers. And remember, this is important. You must, in, you must adjust the ones with the P in front of it because that represents the processor. Now if you accidentally do these up here, uh, settings uh, 119 through 127, what you would do then is you would actually uh, turn the processor off. But I really I, I recommend using the processor. The processor is a powerful tool on the radio and it will take care of that speech compression and so forth. But it allows you to get out there and get a real good punch on sideband. So give it a try. I'll post everything in the body of the email. So this is a chance just grab that radio and get on the air and, and have some fun. So anyway from KF5JUSD have a wonderful Fourth of July. I've got some more videos coming. I'm gonna work work on some with the FT system software. Uh, but in the meantime, hey, have some fun tonight with this. Practice going through it. If you have any problems, com uh, message me back on YouTube, and I'll be glad to help you. 73 from KI5JUF. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.